For the Harris campaign, this has become a matter of mitigating risks, but still following through on a promise that Harris made just weeks ago. Kamala Harris has faced a lot of pressure to take questions from reporters, although her running mate, Tim Walls, did just do a very lighthearted TikTok interview. My take is the most neglected part of home ownership is the gutters. It's personal for me. 100% agree. Still, both Harris and Walls have now agreed to sit down for something more substantial, an interview with CNN anchor Dana Bash tomorrow. It's more than a month since Harris entered the race, but she will only do it alongside Walls. So one 30-minute interview is 15 minutes apiece for each of them, and they're out and they're done. And if they can get through that, they can just go right on to the debate. On to the debate. That's if there's a debate. He wants to do a debate. His attitude is, we agreed to the rules we agreed to. Let's just move on and do it. Republican VP nominee J.D. Vance says former President Donald Trump is set to go, while the Harris campaign says it's not settled. It's still pressing for a rules change to allow both microphones to be open during the entire event. We do hope he shows up and, and we look forward uh, to showing up where the mics are muted and both him and the vice president can have a substantive conversation uh, about the issues facing Americans. And for both campaigns, it's back to the swing states with Harris heading to Georgia and Trump hitting Michigan, Pennsylvania and Wisconsin through the week. In Washington, Doug Lusader, Fox News.